Hello, I'm Gavin Townsend here with the famous Spencer Wilding, who is a world known, famous actor. Thanks for the interview, Spencer. Yeah, no problem. Um, yeah. So, Spencer, what films have you been in over the years? Uh, well, my first film was, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, it's Harry Potter. You may have yeah. heard of that. Yeah, I've got a few well, films. Yeah, well, I was in three Harry Potter films. I was in uh, uh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. It was my first role. I played the werewolf. Right, okay. Yeah. Uh, and then I went from there, I went to Batman Begins. Okay. I burned down Batman's house. I was League of the Shadow Warrior 1. Right. Batman Begins, which is pretty awesome, right? As you do. And then uh, a film called Beowulf and Grendel. I was... Um, I was Grendel's father, mm -hmm. uh, and then I was the Sea Hag, and I doubled Grendel a little bit, which was, uh, and then Beowulf was Gerald Butler. So okay. I fil filmed that in seven weeks in Iceland, which was great. Then we went from there from Aragon. Right. So I was doing a lot of fighting with Jeremy Irons in the, in the woods. I was the Razak one. Uh, and then we went from there, Stardust. Mm -hmm. I got to work with one of my heroes, Robert De Niro. Brilliant. What oh, was that like for you? Oh, it was awesome, mate. You know yeah. what I mean, it's, it's a bit. I was a bit. I was a bit quiet with him at first. So, you know, I was a bit uh, starstruck, I suppose. But I'd like to work with him now because I'm in. I'm in a different ballpark completely. So now. how long ago was that? That that was two thousand and five, two thousand and six. So back then, you you got this whole starstruck sort of uh, feeling. Now, do you feel a bit more relaxed because yeah, you've been so I many feel, films? Yeah, I feel like I'm in the sort of same same room as him now, which mm. is which is awesome. But I've done so many films. I went from then. I went from. Um, I started doing some Doctor Who characters. Right, okay. So I was, uh, I was uh, the Minotaur in the God Complex. This is all Matt Smith and Yeah. And then I played Skaldek in the Cold War. Mm -hmm. And then I played the Wooden King in the Christmas Day special. So that was quite special because cool. uh, you're in the, on Christmas Day, there's not much TV going on. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Doctor Who's on every year. So it's pretty awesome where people are pulling their crackers watching me on television on Christmas Day. It's Brilliant. very personal. Yeah. So you've been in other things like Game of Thrones? Yeah, I did. A, I, was, I was one of the White Walkers on the first episode, on the first series. So when you see uh, the White Walkers for the very first mm -hmm. time, then it's myself and Ian White. So we were the two actors running around the forest cutting heads off. And you, you've been in you're a Minotaur twice now, so you, you, you're a Minotaur in another film. Yeah, Wrath of the Titans. So it was, it was a bit of a UFC fight. Going on between myself and Sam Worthington, said I had big, big horn. What was that like? That was awesome, mate. Yeah, I got you know it was it was good fun. We both felt each other out, and we both give each other a bit of a knock. So your background is actually uh, boxing and kickboxing. Could you elaborate a bit more about that? Well, I, the reason I went into the kickboxing, I was a late starter. I live in a little town called Rilla, North Wales. I love the place. Uh, That's where we are now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I first started kickboxing when I was twenty four. Uh, I had my first fight when I was 25, but one of the reasons, one of the main reasons I got into the sport was because I wanted to get into the films. Mm. Uh, but I'm a dy dyslexic kid, you know, so uh, I, I couldn't read or write 15 years ago. Uh, I, so how the hell do you get into the films, mm. you know? Yeah, I, I've got nobody in the family that at the time was in the films. Mm. So uh, the little voices in my head say, you're going to be a, a very good kickboxer, you're going to be one of the best in the world, uh, and then you're going to you're gonna be approached by somebody in the films uh, with a big fat cigar and go, hey, wanna be in the movies? Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't there. No, but, uh, but you got in the films. But I got in the films, uh, yeah. So it was great. I took a Welsh and British title. I got signed in the sports agency up in London and then the rest is history. Brilliant. And then you got into films. And then you got into uh, that. It's amazing. And obviously you've, you've played all these different characters over the years and some iconic characters have been, this year especially, uh, you've been in the new film, uh, Jupiter Ascendant, what mm -hmm. was that like? Jupiter Ascendant, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, luckily for me, half the film, first half of the film was filmed in uh, Leaves and Studios, uh, where it was the Harry Potter world, right? Mm. Uh, and then the second half kicked off in Chicago. Right, okay. So luckily for my character, I started in Chicago. And, and you played so, as a bouncy hunter, didn't you? Yeah, I was the, I, I, he was, his character name was called Falk. Right. So uh, there were, I was one of three, uh, and we were we were trying to hunt down Jupiter, mm. right, which is a Mia Kulis. Mm. So there's a there's a lot of action in the film, and it's the Wachowskis, uh, one of their masterpieces as well. I really enjoyed the film. What was it like to work with people like that and Channing? Yeah, Channing Tatum, one of the boys, he's he's a great guy, you know. And yeah, we had we had some fun. We went out and uh, we chilled chilled together, and it was, it was just a great guy, man. And one of the biggest iconic um, characters you've played this year for me is in the likes of Guardians of the Galaxy. You played a character called Mean Girl. Yeah, the mean guard. Yeah. So, uh, what was that like? You were the guy with the headphones. Yeah. Well, I. Well, when we first, when I first got the audition, 
uh, they wouldn't give any of the actors a, the full script because they want it kept really secretive. That a lot of the films are being being done like that now, mm, mm. which is right because everybody's pinching each other's ideas and of it, lets, it, it lets the magic out the bag, right? So um, yeah, I had my little scene. This scene was I uh, the lead was Star Lord, and I I take his Walkman off him, and he comes back and gets it back off me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was awesome working with Chris Pratt and. Uh, and we didn't know, I didn't know how big the film was going to be. No. So when I was watching watching the film with my popcorn and my Coca-Cola, uh, when I first seen the opening scene with the Walkman, I went, wait there, that's the Walkman I stole. Wait there, this could be a little uh, two minute, uh, yeah, yeah. two minute, nice, nice little two minute roll in this film. And, and then it just, it just went to men's. And that's a global, global, global everybody, everybody, everyone well, recognises you for it. Very, very, very much so. That's brilliant. Yeah. Fly me all over the world for Comic Cons for that. So, you were in another iconic film this year with Hugh Jackman. Do you want to elaborate on that film? Yeah, I, my character was called Growler. Right. And I was one of one of, one of uh, a gang of pirates. Okay. Merry men and all that. Um, yeah, and it was just awesome to work with Hugh Jackman. And we, I've, I've made a lot of friends from that, from that, from that role as well. Because uh, all the pirates are very well casted. And... Uh, there's a lot of good chemistry going on there. So when is Pan out? Pan's out now. It's in the cinemas at, as, as, we, as we talk. It's, it's out now. Uh, and I do a little scene. With, there was a few scenes in there, but I think they were just too scary, so a lot of the scenes got cut from the pirates. Was that because he's six foot seven and built? <laughs> built like a pretty boy, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, no, it, you know, it, it, it is for the kids. And we have some mean pirates going on in there. We, are, we were quite mean. Especially my character is very, very mean to the kids and stuff like that. So... Growler, Growler's a mean pirate. You know what I mean? Arr. You know, so it's like you know, he's he's pretty mean. But if you go, go and watch the film, and there's a there's a scene in the mine where as pirates, have got all the kids mining for Pixum, which is dead fairies, mm. which keeps Blackbeard alive and young uh, when he puts it in his mask. Uh, so yeah, and I pick him, I pick Peter Pan up, throw him over my shoulders, and I go move on away and take it to Blackbeard. So that's my little scene there. So Brilliant, yeah. and so. Uh, because you've got a sporting background as well, and because you're so tall, you've had your first main role in Green Street Free yeah. with Scott Atkins. Yeah. Um, so you were able to actually use your martial arts experience in that role as the as the cop. Um, what was that like? What was that like for you? Well, you know, when, when I got that audition and I knew I, who was going to be the head of West Ham, Scott Atkins. I'm a fan of, of Scott Atkins. Yeah. You know what I mean. Like I was a fan of Van Damme and Bruce Lee and all that. And Van, I class, he's well. Scott Atkins is the new action hero, you yeah. know, of all time. And uh, to work with Scott was was an honour. It was great. And when so I got the audition. But when I went, when I first auditioned, we couldn't get to the to the studio for the audition. But they were really keen to see me. Mm. James Nunn, the director, was a great guy, one of the best directors up up and coming, without a doubt. And he. He said, right, we really want to see you. Can you get to Houston then mm. on like the Thursday? I said, yeah, cool. So we went up to, I went up to, uh, I had all the dialogue down, uh, very close to me, the character, with my martial arts and that, and, you know, a bit of a scrapper. So we did all the audition for about 40 minutes in one of the bars. But my London accent, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, trained, you know? <laughs> so I was like, yeah, wow, yeah, wow, yeah, wow, wow, you know, exaggerating it too much, you know? And he goes, this is a great audition, Spen, but I'm very concerned about the accent. I said, well, listen, give me 24 hours yeah. and we'll bang it on tape and we'll bring it over and we'll post it over to you. And then uh, if, if you if you like want me for the job, then great, awesome. If not, then happy, happy days and, and just I hope it's a great success for you. So we did it and I worked with an actor for a good four hours with the accent. Mm. And then Mason came to me. I just want to smash your fucking face in, Max. You know what I mean? So he did. Yeah. He, he just come to me straight away, and they loved it. <laughs> yeah. And then the kids watching out there, fucking, <laughs> fucking, not fucking. <laughs> so no, yeah. So Brilliant. it's one of them. That was amazing, by the way. He's an eighteen, so it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. If you ain't seen Green Street, watch it because me and Scott Atkins. You were mean right, in that? We have some right good yeah, time. I, I, so. actually, I actually was quite frightened of meeting Spencer, and um, he, he's. He's a big softy. He's big just softy. six foot seven and yeah. just built like a... Soon to be full of muscle. <laughs> Absolutely. So that comes on to uh, the reasons why we're, we're doing this interview. So um, Spencer and I, we're going to work closely together. We're going to do a transformation. Uh, one thing we recognise is in the world of film, um, image is quite important to a lot of people. So we're going to get Spencer here shredded. 
So, so yeah, well, you know, we'll uh, we'll see where it takes us. And I've met you from a really good friend of mine who yeah. I met, and I've known Lee, a guy called famous famous actor coming through, mm. called Lee Lee Charles, and uh, uh, yeah. We, me and Lee Charles knew about each other for many years because you know, mm. we were on the circuit together and me and Lee would have come to head to head if mm. we were still on the circuit together mm. at that time and that would have been an amazing fight he's a five time world champion kickboxer so. yeah and yeah. Uh, it would have been hard to take all his belts off him but I would have <laughs> <laughs> sorry <Yeah>. Lee <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> but yeah it was it, you know and and, and you find it, you get you get this sort of um, good camaraderie between other athletes yeah without a doubt you yeah, know what I mean in the film and turns in. yeah you know I'm a bit of a spiritual kid as well do you know what I mean and, yeah. and the sports and you get deep into your sports it, it does it does it does bring out uh, lots of things mm. you know and you and the other sports people are feeling it as well so you know you do there's a lot of chemistry there between sports people and stuff you know we're very sports people well guys Spencer Wilden everyone subscribe to my YouTube channel and it's wilding, not wielding. That's it. So you can actually find Spencer online. Yeah, it's Big Spen Wilding, at Big Spen Wilding uh, on Twitter. Official Spencer Wilding on Facebook. And What's your acting page? Uh, the acting page is uh, www.spencerwilding.com. Brilliant. Well, check him out. Thanks, guys. Guys, I'll see you soon.